Hello everybody, Silver Picker here, and I got a nice little haul for you guys this week. Uh, I got a little bit of video games and a little bit of jewelry. No coins this week, but uh, still all in all pretty good because I paid very little for everything. Um, first off, we'll start with the jewelry. Uh, I got all of this jewelry here for $11. So I'm ecstatic about that. It's not worth a ton, but I got a few nice pieces that I can definitely sell for more than scrap. And uh, also, it's just, you know, some good scrap gold and silver. Uh, so we'll start here with just this big chunky bracelet. Uh, as you can see, it says sterling. I tested everything. Everything tests out well. Even some of the unmarked stuff that I'm going to show you. So it's a nice chunky bracelet. Um, over here we've got two sterling rings. Uh, these two sterling rings are unmarked. This one is marked. Um, those are not real diamonds or anything. Um, but, you know, sterling sterling. These are two earrings that I can definitely sell for more than scrap. They're really, really nice. They've got that, like, turquoise, that uh, sort of New Mexico look or um, southwestern look. It says 925 BOMA. Copyright BOMA. I gotta look that up. If anybody's got some information on that or is interested in purchasing this, uh, let me know. All this stuff in this video is for sale. Um, we got over here, this was a nice little 14 karat gold ring. Or was it 10 carats? 10 karat gold ring. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to focus on this stuff. I'm sort of filming impromptu today on my phone, so, uh, Bear with me. There we go. 10K. And we got another little sterling ring over here. Nothing special. Um, little sterling Art Deco pin. See sterling. It's got some little uh, rhinestones and uh, marcasite in there. A couple unmarked earrings. Uh, nothing so special. Sterling chain with this like weird little plate thing that's not sterling, little brass thing at the end. And then we've got over here some mismatched earrings. Sterling, all this stuff is sterling. It's all marked on the back. Sterling, this one's marked over here on the side somewhere. And over here we got this one marked on the back. These will all go to scrap. You know, just throw it in that scrap pile. And that'll be that. Over here, this is one mismatched earring. This would be actually worth, I think, something uh, pretty good if uh, if it had, you know, its uh, other pair. Um, it's 925. It's got little amethysts in there. It's pretty chunky. It's pretty big. Um, and I like that. Uh, over here, these are the three best pieces I got. I'm definitely going to sell these uh, as a set. Um, and uh, I'm thinking about actually trying selling some stuff on Etsy for the first time. I've never sold on Etsy before, but I feel like these, you know, for this vintage jewelry that I come across, that I should really be, uh, you know, selling in a in a more um, uh, specific marketplace. Uh, I think Etsy would be good for that. So you got a little sterling uh, violin on a sterling bracelet, a sterling pin. You can see that over there. And this one is like a gold-plated sterling. Uh, let's see if I can get you to see that over there. Gold-plated sterling uh, pendant. So three little uh, violin uh, pieces of jewelry, all sterling. Uh, the lady I bought it from was a violinist, and she was just sort of getting rid of some of her old stuff. Uh, so that's the jewelry. Did all right. I'm certainly worth a lot more than the 11 or whatever, $12 I paid for it. Uh, I mean, this 10 karat gold ring alone, even though it's only a couple of grams, uh, certainly pays for that and then some. And then just a couple of video games and movies, but uh, I did very well on those. Um, I got three boxed NES games, uh, all with the booklets, complete. You know, this one's a little bit taped up, so it's not in great condition. Joshua for play on Nintendo. It's pretty cool. Uh, sequel to Exodus, Conqueror of the City of Jer Jericho. Joe and Mac, oh, very good condition. And Tiny Toons Adventures, also in very good condition. They both have like the booklet in there and everything, like I said. 
Um, you know, those go for various, you know, different prices on eBay, you know, 30 bucks, some of them. Uh, I paid uh, only $5 uh, for these games and this. This is a Neo Geo, for those of you who don't know. It's a handheld system that, from what I understand, was never really that popular. It's the Neo Geo Pocket Color. Um, and, uh, I mean, I paid 5 bucks for that and one game. It's like a, like a Brick Breaker type game. And uh, this actually sells on eBay for like 45, 50 bucks. Uh, so I'm pretty happy about that. It works perfectly. Um, and, uh, you know, 10 times my money on that is certainly good enough for me. And then over here, last but not least, just uh, a Finding Nemo DVD. You know, you guys know how much I like getting the Disney DVDs. I only paid a dollar for it. Um, you know, you pack those up in a, in a bunch, uh, in a lot on eBay, and uh, you can get pretty good money on them. Uh, so that's that. It's just a short little uh, purchase video, a uh, little haul video. Uh, for those of you who haven't watched my videos, please watch them. Uh, I think you can learn a lot, and uh, I enjoy making them. So please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'd love to hear from you guys. And uh, that's about it. So thank you for watching, and Silver Picker out.